One of the themes I keep coming back to is simplicity, minimalism, and looked at minimalism of my physical possessions, the clutter that is around me, having clear open space physically, and could also look at that in the clearness of time, having not too much clutter filling time so that there's open space in time, not uh, trying to consume uh, too many experiences and just fill up time with everything. And maybe the, the next frontier or just another frontier of that that I, I hadn't thought about before as much is just even within my own mind, the, the clutter of knowledge, the clutter of things that I know. Now, you know, the word knowledge covers a lot of things and overlaps with something like wisdom, where we really know the, the most important things and we have some idea of the best way to live. So I, I think wisdom is really the true knowledge. That's the true, the, the things that we really should know knowing how to live well. That's, that's the core uh, knowledge that uh, I think has a great value. But then there's just so many things that we know uh, that I begin to question uh, how useful it is to know all these things. Uh, now it feels good to know things uh, and I have this uh, weakness especially uh, just, you know, collecting uh, trivia, uh, knowing all kinds of things, and then it makes me feel good that, uh, you know, I have this some kind of obscure knowledge. Uh, but I can see how it can become a little bit foolish or a lot foolish to sort of have this notion that we know a lot. Uh, because it, it really has a, a parallel with having a full space, uh, like having, uh, having a full mind full of knowing things is like having a room full of objects and possibly it's missing uh, some kind of uh, opening in order to learn new things, in order to uh, become aware of things that we didn't know about before. Is, um, and you could use the metaphor of like the air pressure, like when you have high pressure uh, air, like it doesn't let anything else in. If you have the vacuum, the, then it lets other things in. So we're, we're for full, whatever we're full with, we tend not to let other things in. Uh, whereas if we have uh, a certain uh, emptiness, then we let things in. Now, we don't want to be complete vacuums, <laughs> completely vacuous and just like let anything fill us. But I think there's, there, there's a room to have, there's just a certain space of just saying that I don't know and to just be okay with not knowing many things uh, and really just le letting ourselves be aware of what's happening around us so that if I don't have that sense of, I know, then I can just be more uh, neutral and more open to simply seeing what's really there. Uh, because coming to a situation with a sense that I already know what it's all about, well, not only is, does it lead to, just make it a hard, make it hard for me to actually learn uh, more about what's really happening because I already think I know. But also, it kind of just makes things a little bit more boring too because imagine if we really believe we, we know and we have a good idea what's going on, then it just seems like the things that happen every day, uh, they just seem very predictable. It's like, oh, I knew that was gonna happen, no surprises. Oh, everything's just as I expect. And even going into every situation, 
expecting that we know, oh, it's gonna be, yeah, there might be a few little surprises, but it's basically gonna be within this range of things that I expect and I already know. And so everything kind of becomes fixed and uh, set in stone and we possibly even become blinded to what's actually going on. And it makes me think of the difference between a uh, child and adult. Um, you know, maybe as we get older, well, one of the many uh, differences in, in mindset uh, is a, the adult mindset is more of a, a sense of a fixed idea of what is going on in the world, the way the world works, what's happening, what everything is. Uh, everything has a clear place and we, we know exactly what it is or close enough. So everything just becomes kind of fixed. Whereas uh, imagine for the state of mind of a child that when you're, when you're experiencing something, you, if it's completely new, imagine what it would be like to just see ordinary things like the ordinary room around you or the people you know. Imagine you were seeing them for the very first time and you had no idea what even they're, what category they're in or what type of thing or person they are or whatever uh, it is. You just have no idea and you're just completely open to uh, seeing this thing as if for the first time. And maybe that's connected to the idea of having that kind of childlike wonder and openness to the world. So yeah, I think this could definitely be taken too far and we simply like forget everything we know. Obviously, knowing things can be very useful, but I think there, there's also a place for simply uh, letting ourselves be mentally empty and just like, just say, just say to ourselves, okay, I have no idea what this is and have that sense of complete freshness and we may be surprised by what we see.